What's up guys welcome once again to the bodybuilding india my name is shreyas so friends before i start off this video you already saw the title of this video it is titled fake natties it's not even funny anymore so uh, as you all know the, uh, apart from from this youtube channel i train people online as well uh, through skype and all those things which is not the topic for this video but i'll come to that later and i also have a facebook page as well as instagram and a facebook group which is very uh what uh like i will be there all the time and uh, most of the time and it is a very very good group for beginners if you want to clear your basic doubts regarding nutrition training but the sad thing is most of the questions come about uh Uh, supplements and uh, who is natty who is not natty and all those things but we try to keep the group clean so uh, the reason i told that i train online i am an online trainer is because when i get clients i get to hear some sad stories as well so most of the people don't have time to go through youtube or read through the uh, online forums or anything and they just hire a trainer in the local gym or any kind of gym right so they find it difficult to understand or they find it hard to uh, research right so they follow whatever is being told to them in the gym that is how it works in india but the topic for this video is fake natties okay so first of all let me clear one thing uh, first i'm not against anybody who uses steroids because that is their personal choice they are not injecting steroids in my arm they are injecting injecting it in their arm so that is their own choice but fake natties are those people who actually are not natural but every single time they come online they say they are natural okay humanly it is impossible for them or a human to human to reach that kind of uh structure physical structure and yet they say they are natural and they compete in natural shows so these are the two types of people the first one is people who lie that they are uh, natural and second people who don't talk anything but they actually compete in natural shows so i'm not i will try my best to not take names because i have always been a person who never took uh, names unless it is like it uh, hit me so bad so look guys every single day people are email me that is also one more thing guys i i leave my email in the description box and i get questions regarding all these things all the time my trainer gave me anabol my trainer gave me uh, clenbuterol my trainer gave me trenbolone all these things okay and the sad thing is they are told that that is natural okay so they never know what actually natural is and there is no definition for natural guys okay so now uh, i watch louis marco i watch jason blaha from juggernaut fitness i watch tim mariolo from uh, ilpumpyup.com so these three guys make very brave videos in my opinion they talk about all these things they are like the uh, media or uh, like news channels for bodybuilding or i must say so what actually happen is ulysses simeon panda and all these muscle mania guys they were actually busted okay simeon panda actually get so many comments on his uh, uh facebook posts and instagram posts that he has to block people so every single time he posts a picture you will see the hashtag natural okay you will see the hashtag natural and that is what pisses me off if you compare him with arnold schwarzenegger he is as big as arnold okay he is as big as arnold and uh, maybe even Uh, some body parts are bigger than arnold like maybe legs are bigger than arnold or something like that how the hell can he be natural okay look guys human evolution has taken place we everybody everybody knows that okay we uh, evolved uh, from apes or whatever and uh, that is who we are but doesn't mean that the way human body builds muscle has changed let me clear one thing guys steroids are really underrated okay it might sound funny steroids are really underrated because i see every single day okay look guys i am on facebook i chat with lot of people like uh, they message me regarding uh, steroid usage because they think that i am educated in all this steroid science i'm not i have no idea about how steroids works but i know 
uh, I have experiences with people who have approached me after all these things and they have faced very bad or uh, adverse effects or negative effects I must say so uh, what was I saying yeah guys so uh, steroids are underrated the reason is every single day they you you get to see these bodybuilders showing their workout videos showing their uh, <coughs> eating videos saying we carry our meals uh, we do this we do that <coughs> and all those things okay let me tell you one thing guys steroids are very good i mean very very good to build muscle okay not only build muscle if you want to gain strength and you train below five reps you will gain a lot of strength and if you want to build muscle if you train more than five reps you will get huge okay so steroids are really underrated next time a bodybuilder says you take steroids and you sit at home you won't build muscle but there is another side to it guys if you take steroids you go to the gym you eat food you will get big lot lot big okay i have like what not hands on experience i have eyes on experience with people i have seen guys i have seen people i have trained people who are taking steroids i do i was doing their diet and training okay because they told me that uh, their trainer is like about the workouts are not actually good they are giving them bro splits and all those things but bro splits are actually good for people who use steroids we can they, because they can go crazy volume but uh, then these people uh, stopped using steroids and they are back to natty but one more thing that i want to talk is uh, uh, the definition of natty look guys it is very simple a natural bodybuilder below 8% body fat will look like shit okay we look like shit i don't know how much my body fat percentage was last time but i looked like shit in my opinion okay but i was very lean but the thing is my muscles were very flat you can exactly see that i had zero to no veins in my body i had one vein in my arm okay that's it and i'm not telling uh, if you take steroids you get more vascular but flat if i ate some extra carbs maybe i would have looked better but again guys the muscle fullness will not be there you can see that my muscles were skinny and all those things i'm not telling that i am uh, the best example for a natural bodybuilder but i'm just telling when you get leaner and leaner the way you look gets shitty and uh, all these 12 week transformations that you see guys are uh, crazy transformations these are not natural transformations guys they don't tell you the truth okay i have uh, a client called kuldeep uh, if you are watching kuldeep i know you'll be watching he once said me he once said me that once he got lean and he had abs he told me now i know what natural is okay he used to believe his outlook of naturally was something else now he started believing that <laughs> being natural is not that easy so in my opinion steroids are underrated guys so next time uh, you uh, <clears throat> you what you want to know if somebody is natural or what is a natural physique i'll be dropping a link down below so you can check it based on the fat free mass so if the fat free mass of a person is about 24 it is not considered uh, theoretically or practically natural so you can check that out you can actually check out yourself and uh, one more thing guys now uh, in my experience what i've seen is in india most of the people uh, start juicing maybe one year into their training i don't know why because most of these western bodybuilders or whoever as far as i know they have trained at least three four five six years or at least six years before they have started juicing okay even ronnie coleman i honestly believe that ronnie coleman um, was natural till a time okay these guys are genetically superior than like normal people okay they're not normal okay they are genetically superior they can uh, dumbbell press 200 pounds even though they are training for bodybuilding okay so i'm not telling ronnie coleman was fully natural but there was a time when he was natural and you can build muscle naturally guys but i'll tell you one sad truth about natural bodybuilding you will never look the way you want to look okay this is the sad truth i'm not telling you need to jump on the juice but you will never look the way you want to look okay gaining strength is very possible uh, like it is possible on uh, for natural bodybuilders but again don't expect to look like uh, ulysses or simeon panda 
no matter you train 20 30 years okay the best example is louis marco louis marco is a funny guy he has a very good youtube channel he is one of the most popular youtube channels and uh, he talks the truth guys he doesn't give a damn he just talks the truth um, he busted phil heath he busted uh, ulysses and uh, they blocked him but now they they have actually uh, louis marco actually helped phil heath guys phil heath came with a tighter gut in 2015 mr olympia and which because of which he started uh, actually get gaining respect of people as well so again don't think that you will look like huge and shredded if you are a natty and uh, my advice for you would be just keep on training and uh, one simple tip and one thing that i learned recently is if you want to gain strength naturally hi you want to look big naturally it is very important that you are very strong okay uh, because these bodybuilders who are on steroids do they are not actually training for strength their main goal is to look big and look shredded so uh, remember guys gain strength perform compound movements like squats deadlift bench press shoulder press pull-ups uh, uh, what else uh, rack pulls uh, bent over rows these are very essential movements and the more the testosterone in your body the better it is for you and uh, look guys one more thing is that these people who say they are natural actually are not uh, as we all know but look guys how can a person training for 10 years get bigger when he's on a diet okay you see this uh, physique athletes and all these people they start their diet at 200 pounds and when they are 180 pounds they are actually they look bigger and fuller okay so that is not at all possible i get messages every day asking is jeff said natural is uh, uh, alan gabai natural is sergi constance natural so many uh, names where the people put a lot of names in f in front of me and for me it is not even funny guys if you ask me natural physics on youtube i would have to say one is louis marco louis marco has been training for 20 damn years and his arms are 17 inches lean okay 17 inches lean in 20 years just imagine guys he's not the genetically gifted guy but still 17 inches in 20 years okay and uh, mark fit mark fit is a very like absolutely natural guys because when he's lean he's always lean but his muscles are not like these uh, other bodybuilders who call themselves natty because you can see that he looks normal okay and even in photographs no matter how pumped he is he looks normal and uh, christian guzman okay christian guzman is a pure ectomorph and uh, he is working out from seven years these are the three people that i think and whom omar is of omar is of i actually relate a lot my, myself a lot to omar is because when he wears a t-shirt he looks up i look exactly like him because he is he always looks fluffy okay he's like bloated and um, like he's not uh, hard all the time and he actually goes to a very decent amount of body fat and one thing one more thing guys if you see a guy keeping on putting size over and over and over without gaining one inch of fat it is quite uh, you can doubt that guy okay it is easy to stay lean while bulking but again uh staying like not even putting one inch of fat and uh, uh gaining 10 pounds of muscle that is not what a natural can do guys okay so be don't be naive guys don't be naive i just was chatting with an uh, instagram guy instagram fo uh, follower me mentioned me uh that ulysses is his inspiration i don't have any problem that it's your he's your inspiration and come on guys and you are telling me he's natural no okay that is not the case i'm not telling people who take steroids shouldn't be your uh, uh, inspiration i look up to mark bell mark bell is like uh, what he's one of the strongest guys in the world and uh, awesome guy he has told what he has taken uh, he has he's real about what he has taken he is not ignorant and all those things and uh, steve cook okay my, one of the reasons i'm very excited to go to mumbai this year is because of steve cook he is like cool guy he never tells he's natural or he's not natural he competes in the mr olympia so of course we know he's natural or not but he never talks that he's natural or not so these are the two people that i look up to and uh, and i don't care if they're natural or not for me their actions and bradley martin look this guy is strong as fuck okay he's big 
everybody knows that he's not natural but again he has so many he rarely get negative comments on his page because he doesn't come out and tell uh, <clears throat> that he's natural or he's not natural or anything he just posts informative videos and that is what i like okay now rich piana people hate rich piana he has injected synthol he has taken steroids but he speaks the truth okay all these things are actually i appreciate these people because it is not that easy to come out of uh, what come out of the hiding and uh, uh, talk the truth right so look guys next time please 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 if you are watching this video do not ask me who is natural or who is not natural don't even ask anybody if somebody is natural or not because at the end of the day you are your own inspiration okay you cannot be inspired by anyone okay trust me guys they can get you out of your room and to the gym but if you want prolonged progress it is you okay if you want to get inspired you are the only person that can inspire you so again this video was just uh, to open up your eyes guys especially the naive guys and there was a joke that uh, kali muscle is my favorite natural bodybuilder and look that is what i don't like guys 5 feet 7 5 feet 8 inch is 260 pound ripped really man come on that is not even a case and gynecomastia i had a 17 year old guy uh, who messaged me on facebook asking for a diet plan I, I, due to various reasons i couldn't get back to him but we had a very good chat but he told me that he is taken is taking steroids and he everything is being taken care uh from uh, from his drug use blood blood work and uh, everything okay now he has got a gyno okay and people are like wow fuck man wow, great progress nobody sees his gyno because people don't know that gyno actually comes from uh usage of steroids and he is 17 i know but he didn't have that before okay once he started using all these things that's when he got gyno and uh, other guy 19 year old kid or i am just 21 but i'm saying kid because the way he was commenting was like he thinks steroids are 100 percent safe which they are not so these were the few things that i wanted to talk to you guys if you are like 17 minutes into this video i just been ranting this is this video is come comes from a frustrated guy okay it is nothing related to indian or i'm not indian but frustrated it is a very very simple to get steroids these days guys I know gym trainers carry it in their bag all the time so that if one of their they are lucky and their day is good they can uh, give it to one of the clients so it is totally fucked up and one final thing one final thing I forgot now look if you when you are a natural athlete they say that you work hard but we also work hard trust me guys these people don't even know what the fuck macros is I know I know a guy very closely I heard this sentence and the quote goes like this I'm not consuming anything I'm just consuming calories and protein like what the f does that mean right I'm just consuming calories and protein like wh wh what the hell does it mean guys and all these stupid things then that guy is jacked like jacked to the core okay and yes he worked hard he ate boiled stuff all the time but again so do we we do we also count our macros okay uh, i feel that natural bodybuilders are more uh, uh, educated or more uh, knowledgeable than uh, most of these people who take steroids uh, because steroids are really underrated guys this is my opinion after this video you might hate me or you might uh, respect me for telling the truth but trust me i'm not worried about anything i just wanted to bring everything out of my head and uh, because this is the only medium i have guys to talk this because i don't want to i can't talk all these things with my friends but you guys are my friends when it comes to sharing fitness right so that is why i'm talking and this comes from a frustrated guy okay so what else and uh, you, why why do i why do i promote natural bodybuilding because for me this journey started because of one reason to improve my health okay my cholesterol levels were high uh, all those uh, negative things were high in my body okay so everything was fucked up in my life that is why i started weight training and that is my main motivation and that is my main reason for this channel okay i just been training for almost four years february will be the four years since i 
it was regular to the gym and uh, i am not an expert i am not a, i just share my knowledge and what i have learned and uh, what are the facts okay so uh, again i if you ask me whether this guy is natural or not i don't actually have to answer guys because that is none of my business but what saddens me or what hurts me a lot is when these people who are not natural and uh, they come out and like lie directly that they are natural that is when things get uh, fucked up and uh, that is not that cool okay but again uh, they might tell they have sponsorship deals and all those things but come on man a uh, sponsorship deal doesn't ask you to lie you can hide but you can't lie okay you need not tell that you're natural or not just keep quiet and just do what you're doing right so just imagine guys if this world was uh, there were no fake natties it would have been great right natural bodybuilders would have got the respect that they deserve because one <laughs> one funny thing guys uh, there was this guy again i won't tell from where and when but uh, there was this guy who was lean who was good okay and uh, i completely believed that he was natural because that physique was like man it was nothing out of the ordinary then i realized this guy used to inject testosterone okay and how funny is it guys this is one more sad thing these people who are who do not even look like they are on steroids okay and uh, they actually take steroids so at the end of the day if you take steroids and you train like shit you won't look good and yesterday i got a question asking why are these uh, western bodybuilders uh, jack more jack than uh, maybe indians so i feel that indians only train for hypertrophy they never care about strength and uh, 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 yeah that is the main reason guys they the westerners most of the if you see ronnie coleman train deadlift squats these were always present in his routine i don't see these fitness models from india doing it anymore all they do is cable flies hammer um, strength uh, machine press and all those things they are not strong um, there are strong bodybuilders in india but most of them if you see their training routine and all those things everything is based on uh, that 15 15 12 10 8 kind of workout so at the end of the day it's your life guys do whatever you want but again my job is to just talk and just uh, inform you guys that uh, don't be a fool don't get fooled okay and it is not funny again if you are uh, if you are a guy who is taking steroids and you are lying to people just don't tell that you are natural or you are not natural just put out content if you put out facts you get respect look at bradley martin he everybody knows he takes steroids but nobody he never tells that uh, i have uh, i am a completely natural guy lifetime natural guy and all those things so uh, you uh, there is a way uh, you will, but one more thing lying will make get you a lot of money as well i'll tell you that guys you can make a lot of money at the end of the day uh, it is very hard guys it is very hard i know but again lying every single time and all you muscle mania guys all you muscle mania guys you know you're not natural okay it is not even funny anymore okay so uh, that that's it guys that is all it's like 24 minutes and uh, i don't want to talk anymore just wanted to make this video so that uh, i can clear my mind off and uh, fake nat is don't lie and uh, that is all i have to say and people always complain that i am fat i am i gain a lot of fat when i bulk that is what happens to a natural guy remember that guys okay before you point fingers at me compare my physique with somebody who is actually on steroids don't do that people tell me that uh, my traps are weak my chest is weak man i have been training from 3 and a half years yes i'll get them uh, maybe in, t- in 10 years don't compare me to a guy who takes steroids and has huge traps which he will get uh, when he's on juice okay because of the androgen receptors and all those things so people fail to understand all these things minor things so it's okay uh, now fake nat is or not i don't care i'll be dropping a link down below where you can check uh, the fat free mass index uh, and you can uh, judge for yourself okay so take care guys i'll be back again on tuesday and uh, stay safe and uh, train hard guys that's all you can do train hard get strong uh build muscle look good eat clean 
uh, again at the end of the day it's your choice you make and uh, i hope that you don't regret uh, your choice that's all i have to say peace guys